G'day. Today I'm going to build a woodshed thingy, right here, that will hopefully look something like this. Or this, uh, maybe this one, um, I'm not really sure yet. See, I'm not a builder, but I do have a GoPro on my head, Hey, eh? Right, let's do it. Hey, you guys helping? Right, with the firewood being delivered tomorrow, we're a little bit against the clock, but with a bit of help from the kids, I'm thinking a couple of hours will be done. Right, I've only got one helper. Where's the others? All right, let's go. Yeah. High five. Go, you got it. Yeah. That's it, you got it. Okay. You got it, you got it. I got it. Okay. I mean, yeah, I, I love it a bit, but, you know, it would have been really cool if, like, the much larger nine-year-old oldest, you know, daughter came along to help this with this bit. Yeah, it's fine, though. Like, you know, Nala's pretty good. All right. Oh, I'm about to make a floor. Seven minutes in and the little kids abandoned me. The other two kids are MIA. Great start. So that's the floor. Ooh. You helping me build this thing? Uh, no. Okay, so that's two of my daughters that don't want to help with Dad's awesome firewood shed. Uh, let's see how long this middle kid hangs around. So all four sides, right, are on the concrete, but in the middle here, there's kind of nothing. But I've got this old concrete rubble. Right, can you find a good bit of rubble? Grab a good bit of rubble. Yeah, th this is an ancient building technique from the Middle Ages. Um, if you're like a current day builder person, you probably just want to maybe close your eyes here. Now it's the stability test. <gasps> hey? It's good. Right, so the shop told me this is a concrete bolt. Yeah, apologies. I'm, I'm quite yelly here, just, you know, because of the, the muffs. So I drill a hole through here, then put the bolt in, and then screw that to that. Bob's your uncle. All right, moving on. Here's the button. Okay. Right, chuck it here and there. Yep, hold the, foot, hold the finger. You want to come drill the next one? Yeah! With this extra set of hands, surely we're ahead of schedule. Oh, no, no, there, no, we're not. Turns out we're well behind. Next up is putting down this bit. That'll be the um, floor bit. Oh. <laughs> Almost had ya. Oh, so that, that other kid, you know, the bigger kid, she went inside to get some water. But, you know, 20 minutes ago now, she hasn't come back. You know, otherwise I'll probably be finished by now, but. Yeah, so for the um, four corner posts, I'm just nailing together two bits of four by two, and then they'll get nailed to the base. Do that in all four corners, and then figure out if I want to chuck one in the middle there or something like that. And then the roof will go in there, then you put the firewood in there. Thank you so much. Um, so you guys know how I said, this is only going to take an hour. When I, I said that at the start, that was, you know, that was just a trick out. That was just a... Look, I'm, I'm not going to lie, this is taking way longer than I thought. Uh, maybe I've bitten off more than I can chew, but the fact is um, that the firewood delivery guy is showing up tomorrow morning and I need to get this thing done. But okay. but first... I, I've roped in how to mum to film. Look, so I've chucked a bit in here and then a bit across here. And then four by twos will go the width across. One, two, three, maybe five of them. And then my iron will go on top of that. And look, I know building people that the proper way to have done the, what do you call these, rafters? This should be on top of my posts for better strength. Look, no one's living in it, mate. It's just a woodshed, okay? You don't have to comment. Don't, no, stop yourselves. Just say, look like great fun building that, mate. I hope your blister doesn't hurt. Yeah, look, I'm getting a Using this thing, I just figured out you, this bit's the 45 degree angle. So, um, yeah, so the following is me getting really excited about building some bracing or some braces using like angles and then just really regretting, you know, not, not listening in math. Cut. A few moments later. Look, take two, and I had sort of figured it out and made these braces just to help strengthen up the sides, take out a bit of the wobble. Hey, eh? Kind of working. Next up, the roof. Oh, you put your, you put your butt in the roof shot. Sorry. What are you making? It's for our firewood. Family's going for a bloody bike ride. No one wants to help with the fire shed. Um, roofing screws keep slipping, pissing me off. Uh, so next up, we got some palings to go around and, and wall this thing in, leaving some gaps so the air can help dry the wood. That's the idea. Um, you don't want to watch me put fencing, baling things up. So cut to 
cut to hopefully hopefully I've done that bit. Uh, nope, haven't haven't finished. Just done the two walls and the families back from their bike ride. So don't get your finger away. Eh? Put these on, I've got to cut some wood. Okay. Oh guys, so um, about that um, that woodshed that'll only take, you know, an hour or so to check. I'll be tired to go and help, help with dinner and help with the kids and stuff. This one's keen to keep on building. But um, yeah, yeah, probably finish it tomorrow now. It's so good, it's so easy building, like, you know they say measure twice, cut once? I measure four times and still cut seven times. Look, either way, I'm feeling pretty good. I showed off my um, builder blister to the family at dinner. They were pretty proud. And uh, look, with a good belly full of food and a good night's sleep, pretty confident I'll get out there in the morning and finish it off before the firewood delivery. Uh oh. But I couldn't sleep. Something was plaguing my brain. And that something was bracing. See these ugly bits of wood I put on the angle here that I thought was quite clever, you know, adding some strength to the shed. Well, that morning I jumped on the computer and I googled firewood shed. What do I see? No sign of bracing, no ugly angle braces, if anything, nice teeny tiny little ones up the corner, but mainly, no bracing at all. And now here's my shed, with its giant ugly bracing everywhere, looking like some flippin' five-year-olds made it, and the guy's almost here, ready to drop off the firewood. I gotta quickly try and, you know, take down the braces, hide the evidence, and try and tidy up before he arrives and dumps his firewood everywhere and laughs at my stupid bracing! It, it, it didn't fall down, so I think we're okay. I guess what's happened is the, um, the thousand palings around the outside here, they're actually helping square it up, which was always, that was always my plan. A few minutes again. Nala's left her, this is what Nala made. It's right in the way of where the, the wood's gonna come in and, but then she'll be devastated if, ah, kids. It only took 10 hours longer than it should have. Firewood. But we did it. We built our own firewood shed. We didn't buy one. We didn't get a kit set shed and try and put it together. Me and the kids built this. I was feeling pretty damn good. It's next week. Yeah, so the uh, the wood the wood's coming next week, not today. <laughs> I had another whole week. I had another whole week. Uh, well, anyway, that was... Um, Oh, well, we, we want to see firewood in it. Uh, so here's an amazing um, Photoshop shot of some firewood in the shed. <laughs> She'll be right. <laughs>